Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy, gaming, and in this episode, we're going to uh, continue the Artemis quest line. We've been doing a lot of other different things over the past several episodes, and I want to get back to uh, working on the storyline uh, for at least this episode. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, I showed you the montage there. Uh, we got some more ships and stuff going on. I am now up to 30.4 million. And we have almost 9,000 nanites again, so we're in very good shape, financially speaking. And uh, let's see, if, was there something I was going to talk to you guys about regarding... I don't remember. One thing I did mention, I think, in the uh, with, with a, a note or something in the video, is that these guys should be together, uh, because they're both for cold. So we got that fixed there. And yeah, we're in pretty good shape, so I got uh, a couple more things. I just was flying out and about. Um, I hooked up my Xbox controller and was trying to get used to combat with that, and I'm still, I'm just a very much a mouse and keyboard person, but I've been having some physical problems with my, you know, with my wrist and stuff, mousing, so I tried the controller out, and it was a little clunky. I might keep working on it, but anyway, all that to say, I got into a dogfight with some pirates, and, and we got uh, some extra stuff there. Um, so what we want to do is let's put the um, Viking effigy in, no, wait, yeah, it would go in here, wouldn't it? Oh, no, we put that stuff in the other one, that's right, we put those in here. So put this in here, and then we got these two things here to crack open, let's see what we get there, suspicious packet, we got a walker brain, oh, nice, wow, okay. Um, that's actually super valuable in terms of the crafting and stuff and up we need it for crafting and upgrading because we're going to keep it. Okay, what's this? Suspicious tech pack. This is a mining beam module. Um, all right, let's um Ooh, and it's an X mining beam module. Oh, why why do I have this? Oh, that's right. I got this. Uh, it's actually been a couple of days since I last played in real life. Um here, let's put that there for a minute and see what does it do. Mining speed 15%. Okay. What I want to do here is... Um, this tool... I picked up from a, a wreck. Wait a second. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, I picked up from one of the wrecks, and I think I might have even shown that in the, um, in the video there. Uh, it is an A-class tool, which is which ours is also an A-class tool, but ours definitely has a lot more slots. So the main reason I picked it up is because it come it came with a with all this stuff, um, and I think didn't I pick one up that also had a geology cannon too? So I just wanted to pull this stuff off of here. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's store the technology um, off of these. I don't know if these multi-tools are better than the ones I have. I, I mean, they're not from the standpoint that I've got a lot more slots on my current multi-tool. But if these were upgraded, would they be better kind of thing? So I don't know the answer to that question. Uh, I don't think I can take these off. Or, well, maybe I can. Oh, the other thing, too, is, yeah, we would have to repair all this crap, too, which I definitely don't want to do. Um, this has a damage potential of 1347 and a scanner range of 272. So let's do this. Let's go here and go over to here and go to swap uh, multi-tool. So we also have this molecule absorber multi-tool and it has a geology cannon on it. So that's, I wanted to pull that one off of there. Okay, so 1347, this is a class B also on top of that, so, yeah. Okay, so let's go back now to our main multi-tool. And, yeah, this is just so much better by virtue of the fact, whoops, sorry, uh, that we have all these slots unlocked. Um, so the, so I would really only consider probably going with a new multi-tool if it was a, an S-class. Or, you know, or an A-class that had this many slots in it, I don't know. 
Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to reconfigure a couple of things here. So let's go to our exosuit and grab the, where was the mining beam? Geology cannon. I think that was this, wasn't it? Plasma launcher packet. Oh, no. We already have a plasma launcher. Right? Yeah, we already do. Okay. So... Economy, oh yeah, exosuit. All right, paralysis mortar packet. I think this, if we install this, isn't that part of the plasma launcher, like a mod for that? But when I put it next to it, though, it's not... Okay, maybe, yeah, maybe that's a different weapon then. All right, well, let's put that up there. Okay, what's this? This, I think, is the mining beam. Yeah. All right, so we'll put this here. Let's move this over here. Oh, that maxes us out. Okay, so this is mining speed... That's heat dispersion. That's got a lot of good stuff. That's got a lot of good stuff. We're not changing out the optical drill. So I think an X 15% mining speed is probably going to be a little bit better than a C heat dispersion. So we're going to remove the C heat dispersion. And we're going to put U down there. Okay. Um, also, I wonder if yeah, that's fifteen percent mining speed. That's fifteen percent mining speed. I wonder if I should resources mine eighty-eight percent. Oh, that's right, because I got that in a turbo slot. I'm just wondering if I should put... Here, let's do this. Let's swap this with this. Because I'd like to put these guys together. Right, these guys together for the mining... So they give each other a mining speed bonus. And then these S's are still... Well, as close together as they can be. Alright, cool. We'll go with that for now. Um, that's a 16% mining speed there. I wonder, maybe to make some room, maybe what we ought to do is move this here and move that there, so that makes it gives us some more room over here. Okay, yeah, let's go with that. Okay, exosuit. Now, uh, let's see, we also have this geology cannon, so that's going to be its own weapon. Oh, so do those go together? No, you know what? I think I think these do go with here, but maybe they're just flashing because they need to be charged. Technology recharge. Technology recharge. No, they're still not. They must be their own weapons then. One way we could probably we could tell that is if we if we run over to the uh, anomaly and look at the thingy. Uh, by the way, I also showed this in the montage. Uh, we now, uh, I did find my first frigate salvage module at a crash freighter. And uh, now we got ourselves a, a teleporter, which is awesome. But we can't teleport to the anomaly. So we'll have to, I'm just, I, I just want to figure that out because I can't remember. I was assuming that those were kind of like sub weapons of the plasma launcher, but they, they're probably just their own weapon. And we should be able to determine that if we just run quickly over to the anomaly, so let's do that. While we're here, I, uh, I don't remember if I've turned in my most recent stuff to these guys or not. Wow, 
655 nanites. I guess I hadn't turned that stuff in. And uh, we've gotten a few more milestones too. Oh, I guess we have it. Never mind. Okay. Okay, so it does show the geology cannon and the paralysis mortar in the plasma launcher tree. But I think, based upon what I'm seeing here, they don't seem to be associated with the actual plasma launcher, though. So I think they're just secondary uh, alternate weapons. That would seem to be the case. Oh, you guys were telling me in the comments, too. Uh, I found this X... Uh, black market scanner which gives us huge um, up updates to the scanner uh, but you were also saying to go with the um, the S versions of these and uh, you were, you were saying you you were seeing up to 400,000 units with some animal scans the highest I've seen is is 211,000 so yeah we need to be on the lookout for more of those too because that extra money coming in is just is nice to have. All right, you guys. I think it's time for us to get back on track with the Artemis quest line. And um, actually, you know what we can do is we, can, we need to teleport back to the system where our base is in. Uh, because the waypoint that we need to go to next is in that system. And we'll just, so we'll just take the, the terminus there. Object of interest. Oh, it's going to be one of these deals. When I don't have what they need half the time. Oh, what do you want? Decided to see another pilot trade. Peter offers me one of their collection of rare and precious items. You're going to give me 850,000... Oh, no, I gotta give. Wait a minute. What? One of their collection of rare and precious items. You want me to give you eight hundred and fifty thousand units for a relic? Are you kidding me? Here, let's do the condensed carbon instead. I accept the trader's offer. I'm sure I will find use for this relic, or or it will find a use for me. Right. Okay. What do we get? Grim sheet music. Oh. Wow. Look at that. Seven hundred thirty-seven for. Condensed carbon, that was a good deal. <laughs> I think we came out smelling like roses on that deal. Okay. When they said relic, I thought they meant like, you know, a Viking dagger or a Gek effigy, one of those types of things. And that's not, there's no way that thing's worth 850000 I didn't know they meant some specialized thing like that. Thermos activated. Multiple signal sources available. Tower host powerful transmitter. Yada yada yada. Activate. There's Artemis. Have you triangulated your position? Let me know when you're ready to receive some data. Confirm. Excellent. We're really getting somewhere. Hold on, Gazette. I'll just. Artemis transmits some data of their own, a star chart showing the skies around their location. I don't have any equipment. I don't know where I am. I don't even know how long I've been here. So I've taken an old-fashioned approach. I've sketched the stars. You should find plenty of locals able to match our star patterns. My ship was nearby, so we can't be far apart. I'll patch my translator through so you can understand what they're saying. You'll need to calibrate it first, but that should only take a few words. Okay. Good luck, or maybe see you soon. New technology discovered. Artemis' translator. We need a microprocessor and a hundred copper. Okay. Alrighty then. Uh, where's the ship? It's right there. Oh, 
All right, so let's go back to our freighter and get this thing installed. And then I think we have to go talk to some aliens to calibrate it. Yeah, we have to build it first. So we can't talk to that guy yet. Um, Artemis' translator. That, one of the things I really like about being on my freighter is I have access to all my stuff without having to actually be at the storage, which is very useful. I guess there's some kind of internal teleportation thingy that's going on. Um, let's see. Speak with aliens on planets and space stations to learn their dialect, learn words from ancient ruins and historical sites. Install an auto translator in the exit to translate com conversations. Okay, we kind of already knew that, all of that, or most of it anyway. Let's go over here. And I, I am going to have to start doing something with all these extra thingies that we have. Um, this we can just sell because we already have a plasma launcher. Let me go into my ship inventory. That we want to sell. So we'll do that when we get to the space station. Let's put that in there, that in there. Um, we'll put the walker brain in there. Uh, food? I guess I'll put the food in here because I don't have a... If I put a food station here on the freighter, does it link to the one in my base? I guess there's only one way to find that out, huh? Okay, let's top off our condensed carbon because I always like to have a stack of that. Um, and we'll also top off our dioxide, which is what I use for life support. And it also charges our, our cold protection as well. I still have 10 more planetary charts that um, I'll, I'll be popping here soon. Okay, so let's see. I guess we need to go to a space station. I wonder if we can talk to the dudes on our ship as a part of that calibration process. Let's just try it. Welcome, Hekengandagara. Uh, yeah, that, whatever. That didn't seem to count. Let's try this. This guy. No. Okay, so I guess I need to go to an alien outpost or a space station for that to work. Fair enough. Okay, let's jump over to the space station. Um, you know, something just occurred to me, too. I'm going to jump back to my ship for just a second. Since we're going to be talking to Corvax, we should grab some Corvax relic thingies. Okay, let's chitty chat with some of these guys. Corvax grows lively as I draw near. They raise their own arm towards me. Practice language skills. Let's just see what happens if we offer him a gift. What does he give us? Sex my gift with gratitude and I get standing. Okay. Fine. Request dialect help practice language skills. Here, let's do this one, I guess. I'm not sure which one I'm supposed to do to calibrate the thing, but it's probably this one. Uh, let's do a Corvax, a technology center. Teach me a word of their language. That still didn't scan to locate an alien outpost. Wait, what? I must be doing something wrong here. I thought it said just go talk to aliens on space stations to calibrate. Maybe what I have to do is do the, the practice option. Practice language skills. Okay, his attention is wholly intimidating, focusing on me. I recall several Kovacs words I might say to them. Um, technological. He's happy to hear this word, interpret it to indicate an interest in technology. They gift me a sum of nanites that I might further pursue the interest. Okay. 
So, translator Cal. Okay, let's go here. Let's go to uh, log. Cal. Words can be learned by speaking to alien life forms or by investigating their ruins and other sacred places. Find alien life forms aboard space stations or in various planetary buildings. Explore to locate ruins and other ancient monuments. So I guess it just wants me to learn words, but I learned a new word and it didn't s s calibrate. All right, well, let's just keep working on this then. Corvax is unusually quiet. The only activity a series of rhythmical pulses being made by their visor light. Something is in progress inside their carapace, but what it is, I do not know. Request dialect help. Life former's visor warps and flickers, and he gives us some words. Let's go with a, another technology somewhere. Teaches me a word of the language. We learn word for upgrade, but we still, it still hasn't calibrated the translator yet. One word translated? One O word translated? Alright guys, I have still not really been able to find a definitive answer as to how to deal with this. Um, I watched a couple of YouTube videos, just quick videos, and looked on Reddit and a lot of those guys were using knowledge stones. So let's go to this ancient ruin too, since it's already marked on the map anyways, and see if that helps. So maybe that's maybe it just works with knowledge stones though and not um, talking, but the description says to talk. So I'm almost wondering maybe if something's broken. Scan C to locate an alien outpost. Maybe it's because I would... Well, maybe it's because I hadn't hit Scan C first. I suppose that could be it. Let's see what happens when we land here. I hadn't, like, done the first step of the quest. That, that Maybe that's all it was. Oh, there we go. Translator calibration 33%. Okay. Yeah, I just had not pressed C like the quest was telling me to do to scan, so it hadn't gone on to the next step. Oh. That still is only 33%, though. I just learned the new word. What's up with that? Alright, let's do this. Whisper spill from the sharp edges of the artifact, recounting the dreams and memories of the Corvax echoes in my mother tongue. Yeah, let's interface a uh, interfaces await the arrival of the travelers, those who would seek the ends of the universe through its very core. Within the infinity of time, their arrival is probable. Their potential could know no bounds. One dimension in billions will receive them. Seek. Normally I would do this to go find um, an artifact site, but for now, let's do this. Seek help in the language. All right, good. So that gave us a tri uh, calibration of 66%. Find knowledge stones with the analysis advisor. Okay, do we have another knowledge stone nearby? I think I, I think I completely get what's going on here now. I did, I wasn't paying attention and reading. I wasn't RTF imming, reading the manual. <laughs> um, I was going by the general description and not the specific description. Is there? There aren't any more knowledge stones here, are there? There's the two that we already talked to. Okay, so let's just do this then. Let's just fly away a little bit. Okay, let's scan so we're actually doing what the quest says. Learn the learn from biological. There we go. Okay, we got her done. Nothing like reading the instructions. <laughs> okay. Scan C to locate an alien outpost. Find a life form to ask about your location. Okay. Large outpost detected. Over that way. All right, let's go.
All right. Ehu insignificance does not register with a convergence of interests, but not worth of work. Through the garble of Artemis's translator, it is clear that I am yet to make an impact among the Corvax. I need to improve my reputation rank. Okay. Raise your standing with the Corvax by two. All right. What if we do this? Oh, I was gonna give him one of those effigy thingies. Well, let's try this guy instead. As the pattern loops, I become aware of other voices in the chorus. The Corvax nearby are all singing too, and every one of them is staring at me. Respond politely. They clap their hands in delight. They respond with reciprocal courtesy, mirroring my body language and attempting to replicate my speech. They seem genuinely intrigued by me. The subtle buzz of the Corvax song continues to drone around me as I tune into it. I begin to recognize the pattern. It is unquestionably, but unplaceably familiar, like something I heard in a dream. Uh, repeat the pattern. I hum the pattern as accurately as I can, transposing it into my vocal range. Corvax visors flash all around me, glittering like a star field. The crowd seems pleased to have their song validated. A moment later, they have all faded to silence and union. The electronic life form turn away and resume their prior routines, but our relationship feels forever changed. Look at that! We raised it by one! Yay us! Okay, let's talk to this guy again. Oh, that's all we can do with him. Okay. Let's try this one. The lights in the electronic life form's mask seem to constrict. They tilt their heads slightly as they chitter at me, perhaps wondering what it is that I want. Uh, let's just give him one of these. That should raise our thingy by two. And now... There we go. Okay, return to alien life form and ask about Artemis's location. Standing improved. Translator calibration 100%. Um, this one here, looks like. What do we get? Learn work. We've met 70 aliens. Look at us and our bad selves. Okay, let's talk to this dude. As, as I approach the life form, the lights in the shell case begin to brighten its and constrict. Yeah, okay, right. Um, ask information about this star system. Life, the life forms chattering ends. They stare at me with disappointment. What? The life form shell casing begins to dilate and flicker. They attempt to scan my scanner, but it's clear that my tool interferes with its own. Um, sure, you can scan me. Just keep your hands to yourself. I allow the life form to scan me. They create a three-dimensional cross section of body, exosuit, skin, organs all included. Um, all the organs? <laughs> Refining the model through occasional projections. Eventually, it's complete. This, this data is invaluable to Corvax Converters. Thank you, Traveler. I will, of course, assist you. Give a star chart. I asked the life form to decode the star chart and provide a route to Artemis' location. Location does not exist, Traveler. Ehu! Nothing is more tragic than a corrupted piece of code. Ask if they could have made a mistake. Uh, I have a... Seriously doubt the Corvax make those kinds of mistakes, and he's probably going to get pissed at me if I say that, so... Let's just thank him. Good luck in your journey. Please feel welcome to return and deliver a blood a blood sample at any time. Yeah. Okay. Um, return to space and contact Artemis. Okay. You are. Is it? I found high ground, I think. When you arrive, I'll fire my multi tool into the air to mark my location. What's wrong? Why aren't you saying anything? Tell Artemis what happened. I tell Artemis the locals could not decipher their star chart. The alien even went so far as to claim that those stars did not exist. That's impossible. I can't have traveled that far from charted space. You found my ship. Um, ask how they got there. As I speak, the line begins to crackle with interference. Artemis, Artemis looks up at the stars in panic. The stars, Gazette, they've altered since I made the chart. Blinked out in Gazette. How is this possible? What's happening to me? I need to get out of here. I need to Gazette. It is quiet at first, but it is there, unmistakable, growing steadily louder with each passing moment. A sound beneath their words. A sound as if glass could scream. Um... Yeah, I kind of want to know what's going on. 
They're coming for me. I can see them, smell them. I discovered the glyphs for a portal, Traveler, a gateway between, between worlds. I thought it would lead me to another of our kind, but now I don't even know if the voice was real. The pathway collapsed while I was still inside. I found this place in the darkness. I thought perhaps it was a planet. I gzit, was so wrong. I I can see their faces. I gzit, there are seeds of glass within their ask for the glyphs. They're gone. My data fragmented in the gazette. I just wanted to discover worlds. I wanted to find other travelers. I didn't. Gazette. 16. Gazette. Warn your face. It. Gazette. Please. Not yet. I'm not. Gazette. The signal cuts off as it crackles into oblivion. I hear a name uh, through the static. Apollo. Register ID. Okay. A frequency for Apollo has been added to my hollow terminus contacts. Okay, um, the space anomaly, bring news of Artemis signal loss to nada. Okay, cool. Um, what we're going to do, though, actually, is we are out of time in this episode. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm probably going to do some more off-camera uh, ship scanning. I've got... Uh, I've got 10 more charts here. I don't think I'm going to continue showing each ship I find unless it's an S-Class. So, you know, it's going to be the same old thing. I'm going to find the ship. I'm going to go turn it in, make two, three, four million more units, hopefully get some more expansion slots and washments and repeats until all of these charts are gone. Uh, but if I do run into an S-Class ship, I will definitely show that on camera or anything else significant. So after I get through all of that, then uh, the plan will be in the next episode, we'll just continue this storyline and uh, find out what this whole Apollo business is about. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share out the video. And we will catch you in, in the very next episode. Bye-bye.